Am I supposed to be disgruntled just when you start talking about seagrass, do you think? Or in general, that's just my person. <laughs> I don't know at what point disgruntled just looks lazy. Yeah, there you go. We'll get like a... get like a... keeping you and me alive yeah. and we didn't even realize oh, for god's sake just like we have grass meadows on land there are also seagrass meadows under the sea and just like meadows on land seagrasses support a wide range of wildlife in fact two species of seahorse found in the uk live in seagrass meadows as well as sea stars flatfish and jellies Seagrasses act as nursery grounds for loads of sea creatures and also protect our coastlines from storms, waves and coastal erosion. So it's just a big load of seaweed then, yeah? No, actually, that's where you're wrong. Seagrass is not seaweed. They're plants and they're adapted to live underwater. They produce flowers, release pollen and then plankton takes this pollen from flower to flower a bit like a bumblebee. Wait, rewind a sec. You said something at the beginning about how it kept us alive. Yes, absolutely. You often hear about how rainforests are the lungs of the earth, taking in carbon dioxide and pumping out oxygen. They produce around 25% of the oxygen that we breathe. But seagrass is the lungs of the sea. They produce over 30% of the oxygen that we breathe. So like one in three breaths breathe comes from seagrass? Yes, exactly. And seagrass also captures carbon up to 35 times faster than rainforests. Ha, <laughs> stupid rainforests. <laughs> Despite only covering 0.1% of the ocean floor, it absorbs 10% of the ocean's carbon every year. So it's super important for the fight against climate change and for ecosystem loss. But a variety of factors are threatening seagrass habitats across the world. Seagrasses are now one of the most rapidly declining ecosystems on the planet. Huh? I know! It's largely caused by boat anchors dragging across them, as well as fertilizers and effluent from agriculture. In the last hundred years, around half the UK seagrasses have been lost. The loss of seagrass will also impact our fisheries, threatening the most traditional of British meals, fish and chips. Scampi! <laughs> Around the store estuary, seagrasses have seen a 98% reduction in the last 50 years. I know. And what seagrasses we do have left are really patchy and they should be one continuous field. <sighs> Protecting and restoring the UK seagrass meadows will aid us in the battle against climate change and regenerate wildlife habitats. But as climate change means warmer seas and warmer seas result in damaged seagrass, we all need to do our bit to ensure that seagrasses can recover. But what can you do to help seagrasses? Well, if you own a boat, use a seagrass-friendly mooring. It's the chain that scours away the seagrass, so make sure the chain is suspended off the seabed using a small buoy. Otherwise, buying organic products supports more sustainable farming methods, and that reduces the amount of fertilizers that get washed into the ocean. And trying to reduce the amount of meat and dairy products you consume is not only healthier for you, but it reduces the amount of animal effluent that gets washed into our waterways. At the end of the day, seagrasses keep us alive and could help us reduce climate change. It's time we started looking after our seagrass meadows.